Hello guys, it's the Magic Man here, and uh, just a warning in advance, I have a really, really bad sore throat, so if I'm not talking that much during this episode, or I sound different, that's probably the reason why. And I'm gonna have, I have coffee next to me, just to warm my throat. So, expect that pretty often, but today, we have a Journey into Nyx Fat Pack. Uh, I'm a bit late on getting this. But, um, well, late's better than never? No. That's not how it goes. I don't know, you know the saying. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, better late than never. I think that's what it's called. That, yeah. Alright, so for those of you who haven't bought backpacks, backpacks, I'm pretty sure everyone's bought a backpack. Um, it comes with a player's guide, which is fairly cool. It shows you all the really cool cards, and... It has, like, the top, uh, cards of the set that wizards think. <laughs> uh, then you also get a nice poster, which I don't have yet, uh, on its, uh, cover thing. Uh, not- some people look over it and they don't really realize it, but a lot of people know about it. Then we get to the fat pack itself, more cardboard. Two deck boxes. Oh, just hit the camera. Uh, if you play with sleeved cards, they're not very useful. Then we have our packs and land block. So, we have this. Let's put that there for now. Do do do. Oh no! I cut through the land block. Oh well. If you know me, I like to save the land blocks just so that if I have a friend who wants to start magic, I can give him a bunch of brand new land. But yeah, that's that's what that is. So we have one, two, three, four packs right there. Got our little spin down. Blue, very nice. I don't think... Do I have a blue? No, I don't have a blue spin down of Journey into Nyx. Alright. Let's get to it. <clears throat> so today, I'm hoping to get uh, Anathrios or Mana Confluence. Uh... Sorry, I took a sip. Um, Mana Confluence, Athreos, Iroas, uh, Ajani maybe. So, yeah. Crack them open. Alright, I'm gonna skip over the commons and get to the good stuff. Alright, Ritual of the Returned. Sky Spear Cavalry, Gnarled Scarhide, and Citizen Tactics. Ooh! Okay, Foil Rare. Not the best Foil Rare, but Revel of the Fallen God. Alright, Citizen Tactics. It's pretty good. It's an actually, it's a really good card. It's a uh, two drop, one generic, one green. Come on, camera. Focus. Oh well. Uh, Strive. Citizen Tactics costs green. Uh, more to cast for each target beyond the first. Until end of turn, any number of target creatures each get plus one, plus one, and gain tap this creature, fights another target creature. So that's really good. Revel of the Fallen God. Put four, two, two red and green satyr creature tokens with haste onto the battlefield. It's an insane uh, seven drop, so nothing too special there. Next pack. All right, already one foil down. And it's foil rare too. Should probably turn the music down a bit. Yeah. Oh uh, well, well. I do not own any of the music that I'm playing. Well, I mean I own it, but I don't. It's not like licensed to me. Yeah. Alright. Nessian Game Warden, Sightless Brawler, Brain Maggot, and Extinguish All Hope. Okay. Uh, Brain Maggot is very, very, very good. Uh, and for those of you who don't know about Extinguish All Hope, it's a uh, 6 drop, 4 generic, 2 black, destroy all non enchantment creatures. So, if you're playing draft, it's, it's pretty good in draft. It, if you want to have a black bomb 
But other than that, I don't think it'll see much uh, play in standard. Maybe if maybe it's a sideboard card in case uh, the opponents aren't running any um, removal. I mean, not removal, any just enchantment creatures. I think I saw a foil back there. All right, Desperate Stand, Golden Hide Ox, Reviving Melody, and Dictate of Karametra. All right, Dictate of Karametra. It is a five drop, three generic, two green. Flash. Whenever a player, whenever a player taps land for mana, that player adds one mana to his or her mana pool of a type that land produced. That's uh, <clears throat> really good in EDH and a uh, foil Oak Heart Dryads. It's actually a pretty cool looking foil and a sphinx token All right come on give me something good I'm also hoping for a god pack which I know isn't very likely at all but who knows it's like there's one person one Japanese person opened up a god pack on camera which is really, really cool. Alright, Chariot of Victory, Crystal Crystalline Natilius, Akron Lionbreaker, and Dictate of Heliod. Okay, we have another foil. Dictate of Heliod is another flash enchantment. Um, creatures, I, creatures you control get plus two, plus two for five, which is pretty good. Oh! Wow! Another foil rare! <laughs> okay, well, I'm not complaining. Uh, wow, I... <laughs> I just traded away a foil silence the believers. It's kind of funny that I pulled another one. <laughs> Dang, that's it's doing pretty good. Bring on the foil rares. All right, so that's four packs in. All right, let me take a sip. Do you guys have any suggestions for music you would like to hear in my videos? Uh, I just have it in on the background in most of my videos, so... Alright. Tethmos High Priest. Interrupt the Signs. Riptide Chimera. And Harness by Force. Alright. Come on. For those of you who don't know... Harness by Force is a 3-drop sorcery, 1 generic, 2 red, uh, with Strive for uh, 2 and 1 red. Gain control of any number of target creatures until end of turn. Untap those creatures. They gain haste until end of turn. Really, really powerful. Alright. Uh, change the song. Come on. Sigild, er, Sigild Skink. Love that card. Alright, Hour of Need. Brain Maggot. Knowledge and Power, and Dictative Crufix. Okay, so um, yet another Flash Enchantment. Uh, it's a 3-drop for 1 blue and 2... 1 generic and 2 blue, sorry. Uh... At the beginning of each player's draw step, that player draws an additional card. Dang, we're getting a lot of tokens, too. Alright, last three packs. EDM. This song is called The Drop, for any of you that don't know, or want to, that want to know. Alright. Hubris, very good. Sigled Starfish. Alright. Reprisal. Fleet Feather Crocotrice or Death Parrots. Underworld Coinsmith. Very good in draft. And a Revel of the Fallen Gods. Okay, I already explained that earlier. And that's a pretty cool zombie token. Uh, for... Uh, it's an uncommon of some kind. I forgot the name of it. But, yeah. Revel of the Fallen God. Come on. Give me my mythic. Apparently, there's supposed to be, like, one mythic, at least, in every... Okay, well... Holy shit! I... <coughs> a foil? Worst fears? I've been looking for one of these! Holy... 
Well, that is a foil mythic. That was the mythic I was probably talking about. So, wow, dang, this bat pack was loaded. I did not see what the rare is yet. Sorry, guys, for my fumbly hands. <laughs> but, wow, okay, I'm not complaining. <laughs> People say it's the worst mythic in the set, but it's a 8-drop, 7 generic, 1 black. You control target player during that player's next turn. Exile Worst Fears. I really want this in my EDH deck, and now I have it. <laughs> Alright, Spiteful Blow, Forgeborn Orads, Deserter's Quarters, and another set of Syntactics. Okay. Alright, come on, let's get a regular Mythic, or Mana Confluence, a Johnny, uh, any of the Temples would be nice. Alright, Countermand, Grim Guardian, Dead... Deadbringer Lamp Pads, Thought Render Lamia, Cyclops of Eternal Fury, Swarmborn Giant, and Peaky, Ferris Band War Chief. Okay, not the best. Um, he is a four drop three three Vigilance and Trample. Other Centaur creatures you control get plus one plus one, then have Vigilance and Trample. All right, so wow. <laughs> look at these, look at this pulls, these pulls, I don't know how to say it, um, <laughs> pretty much the worst rare in the set and the worst mythic rare in the set, but I'm not complaining, it's pretty cool, and then another foil, silence the believers, alright, well that'll about end this unboxing, I hope you guys have enjoyed, uh, please subscribe if you already haven't, please leave me a like, uh, leave me a comment, uh, leave me a comment if you liked it, leave me a comment if you didn't like it, and tell me why. Uh, I don't like random dislikes just because it's not very fun. Um, I will see you guys later, and have a magic-filled day.